We're out just Dave Nussbaum. Dave, for those going out for Egan's tomorrow, how's the weather looking? Uh, not too bad early on, but later on in the evening, they may have to dodge a few thunderstorms there. But it uh, looks like going to be more the heat out there is the big story. Much calmer outside right now here at this 10 o'clock hour downtown from our BJCC camera. 75 out there, dew point 72, basically the same as it was earlier, thanks to all the storms that rolled through the area. We got to about 93 out there for the day today. Now we're in the 70s for everyone. 79 down in Tuscaloosa, Fayette at 78 degrees. 73 Asheville, Talladega there at 72. Same for the Gadsden area. Area. And you'll see the clouds still kind of lingering over parts of central Alabama, but no rain. The big storms we had earlier, yeah, they've gone away, which is good news. But this is all part of a front that's moving in from the north. It's brought some severe weather to Nashville up there. Even the Garth Brooks concert uh, was postponed because of the severe weather. That front's going to work its way into our area for tomorrow and Monday, and that's going to help to increase that chance for some rain across the region. So the rest of the afternoon, rather evening hours here, looking pretty quiet. More or less stable temperatures in the mid 70s all the way through when you wake up. Tomorrow morning, small chance for a sprinkle there, but then during the day tomorrow, we're going to heat up once again. 93 in Birmingham, 97 Tuscaloosa, Jasper about 93, 95 Gadsden, Alexander City, Clanton, Alabaster. Going to average high as 91, so still above average, but the heat index still going to be a problem tomorrow. 105 to about 112 across the area, and so because of that, there is a heat advisor for most of Central Alabama, just to the north here as you go up toward Coleman, Gadsden area, even Anniston, not included in this, but the rest of the area does. Go until 9 o'clock because the heat index is still about 105 to 110 degrees. There's also a chance for some severe weather out there. Like today, a few storms could get strong enough to produce some gusty winds and cause some trees and power lines to go down like we had. We could see that again for tomorrow. So just a level one risk for those gusty winds. So we'll keep an eye on that through the afternoon hours as we headed to on your Sunday. You'll notice the morning starting off with a few clouds. There's some storms up there to the north. The outflow from it kind of pushes through, and that's what's going to spark off those thunderstorms as we head to Sunday afternoon. So we'll heat up, and then any storms that develop could be intense, mainly because of the heat. Lots of lightning, heavy rain out there like we saw earlier. Earlier today, too, and uh, potential for some gusty winds. So, from 3 o'clock on into about dinner time, we'll still see some of those storms scattered about. So, not everyone is going to be dealing with that tomorrow, but still a pretty good dose of rain. Still kind of lingering here by 11 o'clock on Sunday night. And then overnight into Monday, we'll have some clouds, a couple showers passing by. And then during the day, Monday, we will see some more rain moving through with that front basically sitting over top of us. But gradually, that front is going to push to the south as we head into Tuesday, and that's going to make for some better weather for the area as well, too. So here you see Sunday afternoon, and there comes that system going on into Sunday night into Monday. And the farther south it goes here by early Monday morning, eventually into Tuesday, that's going to draw down some drier air that could actually make for some decent weather next week. So 93 tomorrow with that heat advisory, 85 on Monday. Upper 80s there for Tuesday through Friday, but look at that, less humid air. Lows in the 60s, it's going to feel kind of fall-like, if you will, as we get to the middle of next week. Sounds good, Dave. We'll still ahead.